today we have a uh, iPhone 6s Plus that has no power issue. Uh, it's fucking the charging port, the charging cable, I mean. So, it looks like it's charging at 0.6 amp. And take a look in here. Is something wrong? So um, let's plug in the uh, tricer tester to see what we get. So TriStar is okay, VVC main is okay. So what could it be? It's not the charging dock. So the phone is not short. Okay, let's, um, so it's like they changed the battery. Whoever did change the battery. Um, let's take up the screen. So, uh, it wants to go up, but it doesn't go up. Okay, let's, um, let's put in the power cable, um, power supply. So, iPhone 6S. Okay, the phone is not short. Let's try to power it up. Okay, oh, it is bad. So the phone is stuck at 0.42 amp. So it looks like it could be in the FU mode. So basically it's not booting up, it's stuck. It's not. So this is not a power issue. This is a memory issue or something. Let's check to see if it's in the FU mode. Okay, let's take it off. So it looks like the phone is stuck in DFU mode. Um, so when we hooked it up, it went right into DFU mode. That's why we were able to flash it. So it's likely the memory is bad. Let me see if we can flash it. Uh, okay. Okay, so we have removed the uh, logic board from the housing on the iPhone 6S Plus uh, from the housing. And uh, let's take a look, see any, anything wrong with the board first. So this phone was stuck in DFU mode, and it's usually you're stuck in this. Um, you're stuck in the DFU mode, usually there's a hardware issue. And that may be sometimes related to the CPU, damaged CPU, or just a bad, uh, defective um, NAND, which is the storage um, chip for the iPhone 6S Plus. Usually this can go bad uh, uh, after a couple of years. So 
so we think that likely to be the case. Um, so this phone came out around 2017, 16. So that's more than eight years already. So usually these, the NAND on them last about five, six years max. They go bad afterwards, you know. Um, Skynix, Hynix. Some, I mean, sometimes some can go longer, but the average lifespan is usually about six, you know, six years around there. So let's go ahead and uh, take some measurements around here, see what we get. Okay, let's put our voltage meter on Dymo. And let's go to schematic. This way, okay. So let's, let's measure these capacitors here. So this is PP1 weight V8. Yeah, it all looks fine. Let's check it. Yeah, yep, we get that value. That value. P man, down, yep. One V eight. P man, yeah. And to reset, this is very important. Uh, where, where can find this part on the other side? Let's go to the, let's go to the CPU. Okay. In this case, we need to take out the NAND uh, since we cannot measure uh, the values. Uh, so let's, let's take out the NAND and measure the values down here first to make sure they're all right. If, if it's going to the CPU and we don't have a connection, um, then that's bad. There's no way up. There's no point in fixing the phone if it goes to the CPU. It's not economical to fix it at this point for this phone. If there's something wrong with the CPU, it's or
Okay, so we took out the chip, so to clean it up. So let's measure. Let's make sure everything's all right. This one's okay. One, three, four. This one's all right. One, three, four, four. Three, four, four. It's okay. One, four. Five, six. Point three. Point four. One three four. One three five. One three four. One two two. One two. One four. Mm. Five. One three. Okay, one, two, four, six, one, three, four, two point, one, two, three. So these seems to be all right. So um, let's go ahead and uh, clean this up. Okay, let's try to read this chip. Okay, so we just reprogram, we copy the info from the old chip and copy to the new chip. The uh, configuration file. So this works. Let's rebot. Put this back to the housing. Okay. Right. 
Yeah. So we get the status bar. Usually when you get the status bar, it means that the phone is, is about to update. So it's updating now. Phone's done. So phone is booting up. And we should have a working phone. All right. So phone is working now. Let's try to activate it. Hmm. So this one's this guy's Apple bound. Okay, so we can activate it. So, so that that's it, guys. Um, so this phone was um, the uh, NAND was memory was defective, so we uh, took out the NAND memory and uh, we read the configuration file on the NAND memory and then transfer the configuration file into the new chip. A new uh, NAND chip, and we put on the, on the phone, and it's um, power. Up and we install the software. Now it's working fine, except the home button is not working. So uh, that we we'll, we can fix that. But as far as you know, getting the power phone up again, running um, phone is working fine. Uh, thanks for watching the video. So uh, next, see you guys on the next video.